Hello, everyone. This is Akata Weston. Thank you for joining me. Today, we are going to talk about the Aries season that each year starts together with the equinox, 19th or the 20th, and on which part of the world you are. So the equinox for us in the Northern Hemisphere signifies the beginning of the year, the beginning of spring with flowers and sunshine. Meanwhile, in the Southern Hemisphere is the beginning of autumns that brings falling leaves and cold weather. Regardless of the, the weather conditions, it is an important part of the year in astrological energies areas, which is the first sign of the will. It is fire, it is cardinal, and it is ruled by Mars. And if we put all these together, it gives this fiery, an active, permanent character of the of the Aries people. So somehow, some most of the time when we can we can see in them, they are very active. To a point that maybe even too assertive, too aggressive, and um, because with their cardinal energies, they tend to be also leader of a group that they come up with new idea and as Mars, of course, that they hardly take no for an answer. But then again, as the first sign of the will, it represents the I am, the self-identity. And So for them, in order to assert their personal role, actually for them, relationship is an important part that somehow to know who we are, we confront and compare with the others. Without this comparison, this confrontation, how do we know who we are? And so as Aries to, to its opposite sign, Libra, they have this interplay of finding who they are within our relationships. And, and Aries people at the end of the day, as fiery as they are, they still value relationships with the other. And in this year, this Aries season is just so packed, packed with planetary alignment. And one of the most important that we have been already talking since February is the North Node and Chiron conjunct. And the North Node has been in Aries since July last year. Meanwhile, Chiron, it is here since February 2019. So with this North Node, South, North Node and South Node access between Aries and, um, and Libra, the beginning of finding our self-identities through our relationships with the others. And this conjunct with, uh, with Chiron, it will be until the 8th of April. This tight conjunction between North Node and Chiron started from the 19th of February you stayed more or less this the same degree within two two degree orbs until 8th of April. That coincide with Aries solar eclipse. Later we will talk about. 
and by with this conjunction that um, it it encouraged us to heal our karmic wounds, finding our self identities, and bring us, preparing us, together with the equinox that also signifies setting our intention for the beginning of the astrological year because Aries is the first sign it start the year in our astrological year in 2024 so while we are setting our intention on the 19th of March preparing us in this one week period until we reach the 25th of March when we have our Libra lunar full moon eclipse and I have a video um, a period video that I have talked about um, in details of this lunar eclipse I will leave the link below without going into too much detail now just um, side notes that I will have a webinar on the day on the 25th March and I hope you can join us, join, join me and uh, all the details I will leave it in the, in the description box. So if the equinox, um, the beginning of the astrological year, with a setting intention of how and what we want to manifest this year, the lunar eclipse is helping us together with the, the North Node and Chiron conjunct, not only healing our wound, by also closing a cycle for the year, for the period year, especially the period six months. Since October last year in 2023. So, by closing and evaluating the kind of new understanding of who we are and the kind of new relationships, new boundaries that we would like to establish from here onward we close the cycle with the lunar year uh, lunar eclipse on the 25th preparing us for the new moon on the 8th of April we have another major eclipse, the Aries, solar eclipse. And, 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 and already here we see in, in, in this one month of the Aries season, it's so packed, packed, packed with these two portals that signifies the end and the beginning from here onward. And, and so the, the Aries um, solar eclipse, it is such an important portal with, with all major planets concentrate on with Pluto in, um, in Aquarius with, um, and also Mars and then with Venus, Saturn, then Neptune in Pisces and going up to, to Aries we have <clears throat> Mercury, we have Chiron and we have North Node. And going up again in um, in Taurus, we will also have the Jupiter and Uranus conjunct on the day of the 8th of April together with the solar eclipse. So like all the planets are concentrated on the on one side of the chart so if you have your natal chart with you you can have a look which houses they are 
and what are the major influence at this moment in your life that will have a long time effect. So if you can join me in the webinar, we we certainly talk about talk about this a little bit more. And um, and so for this, we have uh, talked about the areas um, solar eclipse. I don't want to go into too much details. I think it um, deserves another video on purpose, together with the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction that will bring us something so unexpected. The the famous saying of expect. The unexpected is just so appropriate for this occasion. And there are so many aspects and planetary alignments that is just impossible to pack everything together. So I will talk about that in the next week. And now I would like to bring this do a little bit details of Chiron that we have talked about Chiron for a, for a long time um, is the represent it represents by a wounded healer and we have his story of being being abandoned by by both his parents that is um, Deus and uh, in a nymph with his um, particular um, body formation, being a centaurus, but it's not really a, a, a normal centaurus because of he has the whole full human body and at the back with his horse body. That made him half human and half horse without the ability of being a, a, a normal centaurus. On the other hand, with his extraordinary healing capacities that he is actually showing us the kind of wound, the kind of pain, the kind of um, suffering that we bring with us from other lifetimes. And in this lifetime, with this experience, how we are going to heal it with North Node in areas. So we are going to heal it with accepting who we are, understanding where we come from, and especially, especially to release ourselves from from our social background, from our social construct, we might be grow up thinking we desire and, and, and would like to manifest in certain way by with our career and our education system, with our love affair. And at the end of the day, many of us may find us may find ourselves in a place that is it really that what i am searching in this lifetime and so in this <clears throat> since july last year when not note ingress into aries and the south node in libra this interplay, interdance between the I am and we are as, as, as a collective. And now that we are finally in these Aries seasons with these two major, major eclipses, it's like we are doing the final dance, final searching in understanding where we would like to go from here onward. And since North Node would stay here until the end of 2025, uh, 
And after that, we will have one more major, um, I think it's lunar eclipse in Libra in October again. So all these eclipses between Libra, Aries, and Libra, is like a, a flow that helping us going steadily and understanding with certain process, healing deeper and deeper, going higher and higher in finding exactly who we are where we want to go and what we would like to do in this lifetime. A very simple questions, but it takes so much courage from each of us answer it that are we, after we find out, after we understand in a deeper level of our self-identity and we understand the kind of direction not note that we would like to work toward then we should ask ourselves do i have the courage to implement it And it is not a coincidence that Chiron is staying his major transit in Aries since the February 2019 uh, until 2026. It is a long time staying in just one sign. And you can see it in the diagram next to me that how the, the kind of period that Chiron is staying in its sun. And I think this time is really giving us ample, ample of time to deal with so much our, of our self-identity that we have been manipulated, we have been brainwashed to believe in certain ideas that has nothing to do with hope. And now we've not known it. in this later half of the year until the end of 2024. We should have better idea of who we are. And as I said before, it's also a good opportunity to ask us after we know that, with already our old world changing, falling away, falling apart. Do I have the courage to keep on moving? And knowing somehow there is no going back and not only because of the, the, the North Node and Chiron, also because of Pluto ingress into Aquarius since January this year. And Pluto will, call, will go back one last time from September in November to November, <clears throat> Capricorn again. It is as if a way to show us. Go back there. See where you come from. See how far you come. So that when we arrive to the October lunar eclipse, we know better what we really want before not known, leaving areas and going into Isis next year, 2025. 
and to help us to understand better during this airy season. What do we have? We have Mercury. Even though Mercury will go into this pre shadow period of retrograde and during the retrograde period in om almost the whole period of um, Aries season. But still, Mercury is the messenger of God. And the fact that it is during his retrograde period, it means that we have to be Bit more careful, be more um, introspective, paying more attention to synchronicities and messages that the universe is sending us. Is somehow I think it also toned down a little bit of this fiery essence of Aries instead of just. Think and move that thing. Think better. Evaluate better. Before we make our move. And, and when Jupiter and Uranus make their conjunction from the 8th of April, the universe will tell us like, what is there in store for us. So, during this Aries season, I would say that be assertive, be determined, but also be thoughtful. To stay introspective of what's going through our mind and our heart, of our relationships, our boundaries. So I thank you for joining me and I'm looking forward to see you again in my next video when I will talk about the solar eclipse Aries and the Jupiter Uranus conjunction. So much fun. Thank you for joining me. Bye. From my heart. Have a best.